Today I'm implementing an actual pretty large feature. Uh, there was an issue opened on GitHub by a user asking for a Pomodoro type timer in furtherance. He put a screenshot up, I'll show it now. Um, basically in the settings you would be able to turn on the Pomodoro timer and then instead of counting up, furtherance would count down. And then after the countdown is done, it'll say your countdown is done. Do you want to stop or do you want to continue? I thought this was a pretty cool idea because it doesn't actually add any more clutter or anything to furtherance. There's just one more setting. And I don't know about you guys, but personally, I like settings. I like being able to switch on and off the features that I need and have them be available, but also not get in the way of other users who don't need them. So the first thing I'm thinking about when I'm working on this is where I'm gonna put it in the preferences. Let me open preferences real quick. It doesn't really fit in any of these. So yeah, I'm gonna create a new category called timer and I'm gonna put it in there. And I like to keep these in alphabetical order so the timer's gonna have to go at the end. in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by and everything see you in the next life to be all right so i've got pomodoro timer in the settings now right now you could switch it on and off but it won't actually do anything you could move the interval up but it won't do anything and i also need to set the defaults. so actually the defaults is what i'm going to set first and the defaults is gonna be the timers off and the interval counter or the interval number is 15 minutes. Don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray. What's wrong with me? I just feel way. Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see here, I should celebrate. Waiting for builds to see if your shit works is the worst part of programming. <laughs> All right, the defaults work. So now that those are set, I'm gonna make the actual uh, thing itself work. So we're gonna set up the countdown timer now. This is the fun part and also the hard part usually. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young one. Yeah, that's all great. But I also want a future where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Because there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut. All right, so now the timer displays the correct Pomodoro countdown time when it further in starts. The problem is if I say go into preferences now and switch it off, then the timer still stays at the Pomodoro time and I wanted to go back to zero. So now I have to work on refreshing the interface back to zero. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a function called refresh timer and I'm going to put everything that I just wrote into that refresh timer function and add a else. So it's just an if else, if the settings is it on, then it changes the timer to the time. If it's off, then it changes to zero. So if I turn it on, set it to 140 minutes, timer says two hours, 20 minutes. If I go on and turn it off, close that back to zero. One more time, turn it on, two hours, 20 minutes. All right. So it looks like it works. I'm gonna capitalize timer there. And then I have to actually get the functionality working of it counting down and then displaying notifications, etc. So I'm basically just thinking here about 
how I'm going to implement this in terms of letting the user continue. So the problem is once it counts down from say 15 minutes to zero and then notifies you, okay, the timer's up, do you want to continue or stop? Then if you press continue, it has to, it's going to have to stop the task at hand, save it, and then count up from zero because you don't want to be going to the negatives. That's super weird. Or I guess what I could do is make it start counting up and add that 15 minutes or whatever it was to the timer. So it doesn't start at zero. It starts at the 15 and then just continues from there going up. That would probably make the most sense. It also might be the trickiest to do. It's going to be a little bit weird making that happen, but I think I can do it. I think what I'm first going to do is just focus on implementing the countdown and saving that. Uh, either if the user press stop or if it hits 15 minutes, and then I'm going to go from there with system notifications and with continuing the time. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that time can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning Alright, so I think I got the countdown timer working So I'm gonna start it and see if it counts down So far, so good. But when it gets to zero right now, all it's going to do is act like the user clicked the stop button. So it's not going to show any dialogues or pop-ups or notifications or anything, but it is just, it should just stop the timer. Right now, I'm pretty happy that it's just counting down. All right, and it worked. The only thing is it went in here as one minute and one second instead of just one minute. Um, I can think of a way right now that I could test it, I guess. So yeah, maybe I'll actually implement that real quick. Alright, so before I was checking if it, the clock was at zero after I had tried again to count down. And so that was adding that one extra second. So now I'm checking right after it counts down. So hopefully that will eliminate the one second problem. And so I'm just going to do another task here and again, have to wait the whole minute. Eventually, I guess with this, I'm going to have to wait like an hour because I'm going to want to make sure that it counts down hours and minutes. This society is really trying me. All right, it worked. So now it says one minute exactly. That's exactly what we want. Let's get to work at least on these notifications and then I'll probably end up taking a break. Seek a hide to be far from anxiety. I need my space, I need my privacy. I need some signs, please. You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly. Opinions violently thrown across every surface. It makes me nervous. It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning. Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing. All our minds, we put the work in. We got some work, man. All right, I am done for now, possibly just for the time being, possibly for the day. Uh, basically, I got the idle, I mean, not idle, the Pomodoro dialogue uh, popping up now as soon as the Pomodoro timer is up, but it doesn't really do anything. The stop works, but the continue doesn't work. And I also haven't gotten the notification pop up to work yet. Uh, that last bit took me quite a while getting that to work, but it should be good now. And yeah, so as soon as I'm done with my day job or possibly tomorrow, I will start working again. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all.